Okay. I would say fun. I think I'm very fun. Um, entrepreneurial and optimistic. Um, I started making my own coffee during quarantine, which has saved me a lot of money. I, I guess when I was out for paternity for the last couple weeks, um, a mentor of mine, who is also a business partner of mine, said, I've had lots of roles in my life and there's never a role that's more important than being a dad. And so that's not necessarily advice, but it was a good reminder to me that this time is really important and I need to soak it up and enjoy it because it's fleeting and being a dad is a really important role. Oh, this isn't being recorded, is it? <laughs> Selling Sunset. <laughs> Not to get too weird and deep, but I would say Jesus. I do a lot on my eBay app. Um, clean water and sanitation hygiene issues in Sub-Saharan Africa and affordable housing in Denver. <laughs> I could not wait till the day I turned 14. This is my first real job. Like I had other, I've worked like fun stuff my whole life, babysitting, long, mowing lawns, stuff like that. I could not wait till the day I turned 14 and I could march myself down to the McDonald's in my neighborhood and start working every hour they would give me. And I grinded from 14 to 16 at McDonald's. <laughs> um, I just finished a book called Garden City, which is about bringing redemption to a city like Denver through things like affordable housing and social justice issues and things like that. It's good. Definitely mountains. How about like a close suburb that's so close to the city that you're there in five minutes? Um, this, let's see, favorite Denver restaurant. This is technically not Denver, but there is a location in Denver, so we'll count it. And that's the Angelo's down with Carboy Winery, but there's also an Angelo's in Denver. So we'll go Angelo's and you can take the Denver location over the Littleton location to be compliant. Again, this is barely outside of Denver, but I'm obsessed with this neighborhood called Aberdeen Village right now, which is right on Kettering Park by Kettering Lake. And it's the same developer that made Bomar made this neighborhood first, and it's awesome. Lots of mid-century moderns, lots of half acre lots, just stunning. I like mid-century modern a lot. I, I don't think I can make it work for my lifestyle, but I think it's super, super cool. But... favorite movie. If I'm going historical, I would say The Count of Monte Cristo is my favorite of all time movie. Love that movie. So I'm a big fan of Kaladi Coffee. And so I would say their, which is what this is, their shot, their coffee shop and roaster on Broadway would be it. Although the one across from DU was super cool. That was kind of like my old school coffee. I'm going to say any place that serves Kaladi Coffee. Well, since our context is real estate, I'm gonna say Gary Keller because I've learned a ton from him and I would love to just be one-on-one, -on -one grabbing a drink with him, picking his brain on uh, business building and empowering people. He does a great job of actually en enabling and empowering people to build big businesses and I would love to continue learning from him one-on-one. -on -one. Just straight black coffee. Maybe Americano from Corvus. I have the worst sweet tooth. And so it would probably be Andy's ice cream. You ever been to Andy's ice cream? It's phenomenal. There's two down here on the south side of town. Um, probably any kind of ice cream. Okay, so my perfect Sunday, I would get up and leave the house early. So I'd be out of the house by five. Nobody would even know I'm awake. My son, my four-year-old gets up at like 4.30 or five every day, so I'd sneak out before he got up. I'd be in the mountains by myself with coffee and a donut for the first couple hours, getting some uh, relaxing time. 
I'd come home and get the family and go to brunch. We'd probably go to Snooze or Cafe Terracotta or um, Urban Egg, some, some place that we are at a lot. Um, then I'd go home and watch football for a couple hours and the Broncos would win because it's Super Bowl Sunday and they would that'd be the day that they'd win the Super Bowl. And I would take a listing and it'd be like the best listing I'd ever took. And uh, then I'd have dinner at Angelo's. This doesn't all add up because Super Bowl would be at night, but this is perfect, so don't worry about it. They played the Super Bowl in the morning this time, but um, those things would all be in there somewhere. Um, that's a good question. Goal for 2021, our goal for a couple of years has been to sell $100 million in real estate and we've come up short. And so the goal just keeps getting moved to the next year. And so um, let's make it all ones. So 100 million volume with the team, uh, my office here becoming the number one office in Littleton, which has got some ways to go. There's a couple, there's two offices ahead of us. And um, the nonprofit helping the first family um, closing their house that they never thought was possible. So those are all ones. Mm -hmm.